Hello everyone, my name is Darius Young, or your Blue Dad of Mary, whatever you want to call me. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you all how to make a shockwave, like from an explosion or like a landing or something happening like on the ground and then smoke flies away from it. But, you know, with the shock of whatever happened, that's, that's the kind of shockwave I'm going to show you how to make. Not really one of those cool, weird looking, colorful thing in the jiggers that people make. I'm going to show you how to make a, I can uh, actual real life shockwave. So, and you can use it for like fight animations or whatever you're trying to make. That's what I'm using mine for. And um, I had to figure this out by myself. So I thought I'd make a video showing people how to do it. So, first thing you want to do is get rid of that. Make a UV sphere. Turn it to shade smooth. And this is what's going to be on our... Um, this, th these are what our particles are going to take the form of. Uh, so let's change this to Cycles Render Engine. Let's give this a new material. And let's go here. Let's change this to the Node Editor for a hot second. And you get in here, we have to do a few things. Uh, first things first, we want to add a mix shader. I want to put that at the bottom. Then we want to add a transparent shader, and this shader will act uh, to make the clouds and stuff transparent from our um, on our object when we add the texture to it, which we're going to do now. So we're going to add a texture. We're going to go to an image texture, open, and I have a picture of a cloud that I saved in here, and you should find one yourself. So here's a smoke fog. And we're just going to plug this into the factor of that. And let's get our lights set up here real quick. Um, we're going to change this to a sun. And we're going to use nodes. We're going to give it this kind of a texture. and give it a strength of about four. And we also need to make a plane. Scale that down. Or scale it up, rather. Not down. And we want to bring this up. Shift Z. All right, so so our our sphere here is transparent, and that's because um, of our transparency node that we put in there. Um, but we have to unwrap the cube first, not the cube, the sphere, so that we can see our texture. So let's quickly select these sides here. Control E. Mark seam, and then you unwrap. And then, all right, so there you see, we now have some volume in there. And if I go over here and change this to the UV image editor, the tab in the edit mode, you can see, and then, and then if you want to have a better look at what your um, UVs will look like, you can just load the picture that you got. So you can see where it's being placed exactly in the sphere. Uh, so we have a few more things, though, that we need to do with this before it's complete. We need to go to input and add a particle info node. Then we need to go to vec uh, converter, I believe. Yeah. Get a math node. And we're going to put the age in this factor. I'm going to change this to divide. We're going to divide it by about. 60. We'll divide it by 60. And one last thing, we need a color and a mix RBG. And we're going to plug this into the factor. We're going to plug this into color one. We're going to make this black. And then we're going to plug this into that factor. And so um, that basically it just it gets rid of any blackness that you would see. Um, when we start generating the smoke and um, let's give this a dusty kind of color so that you can see it so you see our texture is kind of like inside the sphere a little bit or on the outside and it's kind of uh, transparent like that uh, let's get it slightly slightly darker just so that we can see it better there you go. So you can really see the dust in there. All right. 
So this is what our particles are going to take the uh, form of. So to shift Z, hit N, bring up the panel, and we're going to name this uh, smoke. All right. So now I'm going to go in this layer, cursor to center. Oops. Hope I didn't move that. Um, cursor to center. There we go. And we need to add a circle. Tab in edit mode. Uh, we want to E extrude on the Z axis. Uh, control, whoops, the daisy. Control N, flip normals. And let's selection to cursor offset. There we go. And let's draw our outer edge loop in there, scale that up. And hit W. I want to subdivide that. We want to fracture it a little bit and add a few more cuts. And then we want to hit Shade Smooth, and there we go. Scale that down a little bit. And we're going to go to our particle settings, add new, emitter, change the number to about 5,000. Uh, we're going to start at frame 2 and at frame 3. We're going to have the lifetime be about 60. Turn random all the way up. And we also want to turn this to 5. And I think that might be about it. Oh, yeah. And uh, go to the field weights and turn gravity all the way off. And if we hit Alt-A, see we have our particles fly out like that. So let's change this back to our timeline so we can see. And let's give this an end frame of 70. There we go. So, so you see, now we got our, our blast kind of emitting from there. All right. So uh, let me just scale this down just a tiny bit more just to give that more of a concentrated effect like that. All right. So we have our shock wave and we have the particles uh, that will be generated from it. Now we need to give these particles a shape because right now they're just little dots on the screen. They don't really have a shape. So we need to go to, I believe it is, it's not vertex groups, display. It's in here somewhere. Display, render, material, children, force field settings, vertex groups, textures, custom properties. Okay, textures, we need to keep that open. Close this, close this. I'm just trying to find where we change the look of it. We have to change this to object and select our smoke object. And now you see we have a bunch of little circles here. Uh, we want to change the size to about uh, say point. Yeah, skip it. Make it a size of oh no, not one. Point five. I was right. Not even 0.5. Let's give it a size of 0.2. That's better. All right. So we have our smoke um, objects here that and these these objects here that are the particles. They use the material made from this smoke object here. So if I move this to this layer and we grab and we grab this, and I shift Z. This is our smoke right here. And so you see it dissipates over time like so. Um, and we want to, I want to do just one more thing with the sphere that we made. I want to not make it so dark. So let's go to the node editor and 
Let's lighten these up a bit. Okay. And then if you also want to, you can change the number of particles you have. So let's just shift Z again. Let that play out. Okay, so you can change this number from uh, 5,000 to about 2,500. And uh, there we go. You'll still get the same effect, it's just it'll be less dark. There we go. You can you can actually see the smoke start to dissipate there. All right. So so that is how you make like a shock wave, you know, like uh oh yeah, and one last thing we need to do before we do that is not that. But, um, there's an emitter button that we need to here we go. Uncheck that. That way um, when we render it out, you know, that little sphere or that little um, circle won't be in the center there. And so we have a shockwave now. So I'm going to give this a quick render just so that you all can see it. Uh, um, it doesn't have to be too clear, so I'm going to turn my samples down to... Uh, 10. All right. And I'll pause the recording while I render this out and uh, I'll be back in. A All right, guys. So this is the finished render. So as you can see, you know, you got the, it's pretty much just that an explosion. Boom. There you go. Well, not really an explosion, but you know, the shock wave that follows, you know, something like that, like a harsh impact or something like that, you know, that's just what this is. And so um, there's like, there wasn't until I made this anyway, there wasn't like a tutorial on just like how to boom, just make a quick little shock wave like that. I had to find it out myself. Um, so yeah, you can do that nice and easy, really fast. Only, only thing is it takes some, you know, quick minute to render and then there you go, you got your effect there. Uh, do note though that the plane basically separates it so it just looks like the top half is the shock wave but keep in mind that is actually this entire thing so like just keep that in mind when you want to do something like you know like if you want to rotate this okay so let's say let's say your your characters are are fighting all right and you like like one of them punches in the air or something like that Okay, keep in mind the side. Keep in mind, uh, you know that these are a bit thicker than what is shown on just the plane, or not that the spheres are a bit thicker, but the the radius, not even the radius, the um, you know the, the thickness of the the whatever this is called. It's just just. It's wider than it. It's wider than it appears to be on the plane. So just keep that in mind. If you don't want it as wide, you can change it. And you can also. You don't have to use spheres with textures on them. You can use planes with the texture on them. Um, you can also <clears throat> just render this animation out, and um, you know, like composite it on top to speed it up. Like if you just want a quick little explosion or something like that. Like if you got Goku and Vegeta. And they're like making those like shock waves in the sky when they're fighting or whatever. You know, you can do a lot of things with this stuff. So I just wanted to show you guys how to make something like this um, so that, you know, you can use it in your own animations and fights and whatnot. So thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. And uh, if you stay tuned at the end, I have a little treat that I'd like to show you all. So. Um, yeah, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.